Hey guys, welcome back. In Jenkins, we know about the master-slave architecture. We know how master can distribute the loads to an available agent based on the setups. In Jenkins, the agent executes the build requests received from master or the controller. In this video, I'll show you how we can set up a Linux agent in Jenkins. If you see here, we have a Java agent. I can I have given a name it as Java agent and it has two build executors. I'll show you in step by step process how we can set up an agent in Jenkins. So let's start. If you have not subscribed my channel, please just subscribe now so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my channel. So to set up the agent, let's go to the Manage Jenkins first. In Manage Jenkins, you'll find there will be an option called Manage Nodes and Clouds under System Configuration. Click on this and you'll see here we have two nodes available currently. One is the master node, the built-in node, and the other one is the agent which we had set up earlier. Now let's go ahead and click on the create new node. Give a name to the node or the agent, like I'll give and the name agent should be the requirement specific. Okay. I'll give like uh, agent one, something like this. Okay. Agent one. And make it add the permanent agent. Create. And give a description like what kind of agent it is. Suppose this is and um, this is a Linux agent for Java related build. Something I just gave a description. Now the number of executors. So based on the system configurations, you have to provide the executor. Suppose I'll provide here two. Now the remote root directory. And this is very important, guys. And here it clearly says it is mandatory. So you have to specify from which directory you need that particular agent to be executed, right? So I'll give us like home Jenkins here and this label. And this label is required to identify by the master. When you do write the pipeline script, you have to specify on, on which label you want that build to be executed. So give a label name. Suppose I'll give as isn't one the same name isn't one, and here the usage how you want this node to be used. So we have options like use this node as much as possible, and the other one is the only build jobs with label expressions matching this node. So for this time being, just select use this node as much as possible. Okay, and then the launch method. If you select it here, suppose here we have three launching methods available here. Now we'll go with the first one is the launch agent by connecting it to the controller. Select this one and the custom working directory. From which directory you want to execute this or the working directory. So you have to let's put it here as home Jenkins. Okay. And here the internal data directory, let it be there remoting. Now all looks good, right? Let's go ahead and here availability. You have to just make this keep this agent online as much as possible. This node properties is not required to do the setup. If you're uh, if you're giving extra properties, the variable you can just go ahead and set it up. Otherwise, it's not required. Now let's go ahead and save it. Okay, so we can see here. We can see here our agent is offline, right? We can see here our agent is offline. Now let's go ahead and click on this. And you can see here it provides some command run from agent command line. So we are going to run these commands in the agent machine. So before running that, I'll show you one more thing. 
let's go to the manage Jenkins. And here you have to go to the uh, go to the configure global security. Okay, so you have to set off the security for the agent, right? So configure global security. And here, what you'll see, there will be an options for agent to allow the port. So you can see here, we have some TCP port fixed, random, and disable. If you disable it, then your agent will not able to connect with the, with the master, or your master will not able to connect with the agent. So let's make it fixed with this some with some specific or fixed port. If you select random, what will happen? The master will randomly select a port, and you have to make sure that that port is whitelisted so that it can able to connect it. And you have to give it specific specific port range, right? For fixed, if you if you want your master can connect with a specific port so or your node can connect to the master with some specific port then you have to specify here and you have to once I, you specify the fixed port suppose here i have given 50000 and you have to whitelist this port on your master or jenkins server or controller machine okay now this is the first thing you have to do the setups save it then now let's go to the manage cloud nodes and cloud keep it here and just click this agent and we need to execute these things we need to execute these things let's open let's open to the connector and what happens here i have uh, first what you have to do you have to connect to your to the node machine to the machine which machine you want to execute at your node machine so i have created one node server a linux server here and let's get the ip address of this okay and i want to connect this server let's put out the ip address which enter so i connected to the node machine or to the agent machine in the back end right so what it asks it it is asking to generate or run this command it's asking to run this command to download first the agent.jar and remember this agent.jar is a java program right and make sure your agent machine is having the java installed first otherwise this particular program will not work okay now what i need to do so the agent is now is going to First, we have to download using the curl command. So let's go to the home directory. CD. Is there in the home directory? Now let's execute the command which specified here. First, I'll execute the curl command, right? Execute it. So if you see here, it would have downloaded the agent.jar file. If I do ls -L, l, you can see here it has now downloaded the agent.jar jar file from where from the jenkins server from the jenkins server to the node machine or to the agent machine okay now you have to execute this particular command let's execute good now you can see here the agent address is this one and the agent port is 50000 and make sure this 50000 port is whitelisted on the Jenkins server on the master machine. Okay, now we can see here it is connected to the agent. If I go here and go to the nodes, you can see here our agent is now our agent is now online, right? You can see here we have three agents. We have two agents available with the built-in node, which is the master machine, master node, and we have the agent is having two executors. So how you can use this agent in your pipeline script? You have to just whenever you write the pipeline script, you have to specify the load, right? Agent, and you have to specify the label as agent one. You have to use name it as agent one. Hope you understand clearly how you can set off the agent in Jenkins, right? Now 
if you want to write the pipeline script, right? Let me show you once a small examples here. If I uh, go to my uh, GitHub page, right? There I have few uh, things available there. Let me just go to this. And if I go to my repository here, suppose I'll go to this repository, DevOps web, and I have, let me just go to some thing like feature Jenkins file, right? And if I just open this Jenkins file, you can see here something called isn't and is given a label as Java isn't, right? The label you have to specify in the pipeline script as it is like label Java isn't. And suppose you want to use this isn't and the label is given as isn't one. So instead of this Java isn't, you have to specify isn't one, right? And this way you have to make your code to work. Pipeline script will work and your master will ex execute this particular build or Jenkins file to the node and the build will start in the ascent itself. Hope you understand clearly how we can set up the ascent and how we can write in the pipeline script, right? If you have any doubt or any concerns, please do write me in the comment section below. If you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. Thank you.